More than 7.3 million couples in the United States suffer from infertility. Somebody Berkson is here to let us know why you shouldn't give up hope. You have options out there. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you Mindy. for having me. You know, when it comes to couples trying to conceive, and they cannot, a lot of times the woman will put all the blame on her, the man will put all the blame on him. What, what is the primary cause of infertility in couples? The primary cause of infertility is delayed childbearing, but it's important to note that infertility issues affect men and women equally. You know, you were also saying, too, that of late, there's something that's happening kind of in our society where more and more couples are experiencing this, and you were saying it has to do, too, with working and setting off family. Talk to us mm -hmm. a little bit about that. Well, delayed childbearing, meaning that women are choosing to have children later in their 30s. And I think what most women or most people don't understand or know is that fertility begins to decrease at the age of 27. By the time women are 30, 90% of their eggs are depleted. Wow. And so even women who have children in their early 30s and then try to have children later on often are affected by secondary infertility. What are some of the uh, advances out there in treatments to help couples out there? Well, treatment has gotten much more advanced over the years, but um, the leading treatment for women who have poor egg quality is using eggs from a donor, donor right. eggs. Certainly surrogacy is an option if there's a uterine issue. And for those who are consciously choosing to delay childbearing and they are less than 38 years old, there's a new option out there called egg banking. You know, a lot of people are concerned about that mainly because of the money issue. Would you suggest this as an option to most people or would you say, you know what, maybe it's not for you. Well, I think it's a really individualized situation, but I think it's also a nice insurance policy to have so that you can hopefully have a biological child in the future. All right, some great information. I'm sure there's so much more to talk about this morning. If you need more information, there we do have a uh, website for you. There it is. It is lotusblossomconsulting.com. Thank you very much for coming in and sharing that. Some great information to pass along. Thank you so much for having me.